Good afternoon, guys, from Jakarta, Indonesia. Yes, I have left China, but why am I here? Well, let me tell you, I am here to catch the high speed bullet train, which some of you may know was built by China. So I'm going to be traveling from Jakarta to Bandung, a journey which will now take 30 minutes before it took three hours. It cost me 600,000 uh, Indonesian rupiah, which is about 270 RMB. Uh, so I'm very excited to take this uh, train, which was built by China. You know, just look what China's doing in other countries. Um, you know, it's just lovely to see these, uh, uh, this development. Not only is China develop developing at a crazy pace, but it's also helping other countries, like here in Indonesia. Um, here's a little uh, model of the train that we're about to take. Um, I believe this is the, uh, the Fuxing, Fuxing trains, uh, the same ones that they use in China, uh, which I have traveled on quite a lot. Now, I'm also very excited because I have a first class ticket. Um, so we're gonna see what first class looks like here on the train, uh, here in Jakarta. Before we get started, just a quick disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by the Chinese government, by the Indonesian government, China Rail, Indonesian Rail, or any train company. But I can tell you who this video is sponsored by. Surfshark VPN. Now more than ever, our internet reliance has been rapidly increasing from streaming our favorite shows to keeping in touch with loved ones. And also our banking is mostly done online these days. We'd like to think that our information online is safe, but you never know when America is listening in on one of your calls. And so as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Surfshark is a VPN service that protects information by encrypting all the data that you send through the internet, keeping anyone unwanted from seeing it. Another great reason to use a VPN is because content from streaming, streaming services can be restricted based on what country you're in. With Surfshark, you can solve that problem by simply changing your location. You can access a bunch of different libraries, for example, on Netflix or Disney Plus. So if you want both freedom and protection online, click the link in the description below and use my special code. Here we are to get an extra three months for free. Go and check it out. Now back to the video. Meanwhile, in the UK, they're still talking about their high-speed rail, HS2, which was originally planned from London all the way up north, and then they canceled like so many parts of the route. They even canceled some of the route that went to my hometown. I can't even go home anymore. They canceled the route. <laughs> and so now it only goes from London to Birmingham. And it's been since, it's been like 20 years they've been talking about it and they haven't done anything. And look at this, look what China's done in such a short period of time. We're not even in China. They're doing this in other countries. <laughs> they came in, bing, bang, boom. There you go, Indonesia, high-speed rail. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Just hold on one second. There's one thing that I forgot to mention. The cost of this high-speed rail in Indonesia built by China was around 5.7 billion pounds sterling. Do you wanna know how much the projected cost of the UK's HS2 project is? Which is of similar length to Indonesia's high-speed rail line. Are you ready for this? The UK's HS2 project is estimated to cost more than 180 billion. 180 billion. Let's work that out per Kilometer. The Jakarta to Bandung line is 142 kilometers. China managed to do that for 40 million pounds per kilometer. The London to Birmingham line is 225 kilometers per kilometer. It costs the UK 800 million. 800 million. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is broken Britain. Here's some pictures of the train and this one you can see inside of the, uh, the front uh, carriage where the driver is. Um, and I don't know if you can see it on my camera, but actually here you can see the Chinese writing on the system. 
Okay, so because I have a first class ticket, I can actually come in now and go in the uh, this VIP room. Thank you. I have a VIP uh, waiting room. Oh wow, let's take a look around. I didn't actually know that, he just came and told me. 37 US dollars, I mean it's an absolute bargain. I'm just checking on my phone here, uh, trains uh, London to Manchester. And you can see the prices there, 160, 189 US dollars, 160 US dollars. And that's a journey of a similar distance. I mean, look at the price difference, that is insane. And that is just for like, normal class that's not first class oh my god we're coming to the platform oh there it is there's the train there's the train hello okay and here it is guy here's the beauty hello <laughs> i'm talking about the train by the way <laughs> here's the uh magnificent High speed rail. Oh, I don't want to ruin her picture. Right, let's just uh, walk around the back here. She's taking a selfie next to the train. Man, that is uh, that is just beautiful. Um, it looks super, super modern. You know, every time, even though I've seen these trains a lot in China, every time I see one, it just still impresses me. The shape of it, the. Uh, the, I don't know what you call that, the snout, <laughs> the snout of it. Look at the, how like streamlined it is. I guess it has to be because it's traveling at such high speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Um, man, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm ruining everyone's picture. Let me just get out of the way. Just want to get another shot. I just want to get another shot around here. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, let's stop messing about and let's head inside now. Hello. Hello. And I have a first class ticket, remember? So let me show you guys. Wow, just look at this. It uh, really reminds me of the, uh, the first class uh, in China. But the difference between the ones in China is that they have the those kind of egg chairs. Um, so you can see it's a slightly different style of chair although it is still quite lovely luxurious uh, let's sit down oh. so i'm in seat 1f oh man super comfortable everything is really like fresh and brand new because the uh, the train only just recently uh opened late last year i believe Quite lovely. Um, let's just take a look at the other, the other cabin. And so then over here we have the. Uh, this one is like second class, or I don't know what it's called, business class. So quite nice. Look at this kind of red leather chairs, and then further down you have the uh, economy uh, class. So today we're getting the, uh, the very special VIP treatment. VIP for Hamba Wang. <laughs> I just saw another another train. Just I uh, just one one second. Uh. One second. I just <laughs> I just saw another train came uh, up at the side. Oh my God! Look at that. Two of them together. That is just beautiful. All right, I've got to get back on before the train takes off. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> There's actually quite a interesting history to this train. When it was being developed, uh, there were two bids, one from China and one from Japan for the contract. Uh, basically, long story short, China just offered a way better deal, like more relaxed finance. And in the end, uh, the president of Indonesia, he went with China and Jap Jap the Japanese were absolutely pissed <laughs> um, but anyway and then the rest is history just look what China did here look what they made look what they created what more can I say <laughs> current speed now 330 like that's almost top speed I just look at this I can just stand up look how fast we're going 
the speed of that, you can't even, you don't even feel anything, like, inside the carriage. It's insane. Like, you can see, look at the water. It's barely even rippling. That is crazy. What, three, four, seven? Three, four, seven. God, look at everything just whizzing by outside. Okay, anyway, that was just a short journey uh, to show you the uh, high-speed uh, rail here in Indonesia. Uh, I've now switched over to a regular train uh, and I will travel into the uh, city center to Bandung. Uh, so I will see you guys back in China and I will see you in the next one. Signing off!